my name is Joshua Nelson, and I'm an Assistant Vice President in NYC EDC's Maritime Department. Uh, the Maritime Department deals with all things transportation, from heliports to port facilities, ferries to rail terminals. Uh, we partner with City DOT as well as the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey on strategic planning and asset management for the City of New York. So today I'm going to be talking to you about a project taking place in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, where EDC will be extending rail infrastructure along the Brooklyn waterfront from Bush Terminal to South Brooklyn Marine Terminal. EDC is rehabilitating the South Brooklyn Marine Terminal, which is an 88-acre facility, to accommodate two uses, a new uh, municipal recycling facility, which will be constructed by Sims Metal Management, and also a auto import export facility, which will be utilized by the Axis Group. The city, along with its rail partner, New York, New Jersey Rail, conceived of a project to extend this rail infrastructure to the Marine Terminal. The rail freight facility that we're constructing to access South Brooklyn Marine Terminal will begin, the extension will begin from Bush Terminal, which is in Sunset Park in Brooklyn, and extend north along First Avenue. Actually, in the street, it's a pretty unique operation that will get the rail facility to South Brooklyn Marine Terminal. Um, any of the companies there that would like to take advantage of the, the rail transportation services can do so and utilize New York, New Jersey Rail's uh, services. New York, New Jersey Rail operates what we call the Southern Gateway, which is one of two ways into New York City for rail freight. Um, they have a very unique operation, again, where they actually put rail cars onto barges and float them across the harbor to New Jersey via tug and another rail connection there which allows um, any shipper to access points west. So it's a unique system, it's one of the only ones still in operation here in New York City. Freight rail is extremely important to New York City because it's a very efficient uh, mode of transport both environmentally and economically. On the environmental side, one boxcar on the rails can hold the equivalent of up to four tractor-trailer trucks. And so for each boxcar that we put on the rails, we're taking those trucks off the road and helping improve uh, circulation on our, our regional road network. Also on the environmental side, locomotive emissions and, and the efficiencies that you know, one locomotive can pull a huge train of 100 rail cars uh, really translates to better air quality benefits for people in New York City. On the economic side, rail is generally a cheaper mode of transport, and so all of the small businesses and, and actually large businesses in New York City that take advantage of rail freight transport see a huge savings in their transportation costs, which of course promotes competitiveness and helps them remain healthy. The Brooklyn Waterfront Rail Extension Project has, has really been in the works for many, many years, so we're very excited to see the program kick off, and we're also excited to see the project finish at the end of 2011.